So he zipped up his pants in the beginning of the in the beginning of the tape. So I'm wondering if she was is that too dirty and sleeping with him to get the medication? I get why she'd be pissed if she did that and then he was like, no. Disgusting. Not her. She did what she had to do. But he... Uh, uh. Oh! Jesus Christ! Hey, Molly. Oh, scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Nice. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. About what? I'm just kidding. <sighs> Here you go. What's that? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. Quick with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Yeah, but she was young, wasn't then she? the rules started coming down. Yeah. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. Oh, yeah. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. Aw, she's cute. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I understand. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Bonnie. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. So if Molly's not ringing the bell, who is? Why are we walking like that? Oh, that's a. I feel like this is a running moment. A, at least a jog. Or maybe that would make too much noise. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. oh my God, Ben! Why? Oh, sorry. What are I you doing? Where? Okay, where's balls, Clementine? And I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the <gasps> end of the hallway. No! There. Oh, no. Oh, shit! No! Oh, Molly, please don't die! Did I miss? I missed, didn't I? Oh no! Uh, yay! It wasn't me! Oh! I'm so proud of you! Let's go! Oh my god, she's growing. What the fuck up. is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Can we use Molly's hook? That might that might work. I mean, it, it works for everything. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. Don't do no. this right now. Wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault, Penny? I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did. We don't have the time for this. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, we. I can't do this anymore. Ben. He's got a right to know. No one. No, he doesn't. He's Not been right now. All along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck. It was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? 
It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kick his ass later! I agree with you! You should kick his ass! <laughs> Now's not the time! Gotta focus on getting out of here! You little pissant! You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me! You can whoop his skinny little ass later! But right now we gotta go! I feel so bad for Kenny. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! We'll sort this out you later. You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Yes! Of course you do. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm also abstaining. Oh no. Ben stays with us. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Yeah. He's a kid, too. Even though he's an older what kid, he's still... Don't we get a second? No! No! Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Oh my god. That looks horrendous too. I mean obviously dying is not cute. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. That's not a good idea. Uh, just shut the door. Ah! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. <gasps> Ooh. Lee, look. Thanks, Kenny. Oh no, my aim is not good. Okay, I'm using the S key. Man, they make shooting easy. I feel like a good shot when I play this game. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! <gasps> no! Oh, God! Okay, wait. Okay, wait. I have to shoot and jiggle my leg. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I got it. I got it this time. Okay. Leg jiggle. Okay. Now we shoot. Now we jiggle leg. And then we shoot. Where you at? And then we jiggle leg. And then... You got it, Lee! Oh, God! Oh! Who's that? Who's slaying up there? Okay, Crystal! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go with the hatchet. What a workout! Probably gained some muscles by being in this apocalypse. Oh! Oh, my axe! Dang it! Come on! It's all right, Claire. I love them. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. 
We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Okay. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Okay, Clem. You next. Come on, let's go! Come on! Oh my god! My God! Climb up! Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Get around, ben, ben, what are you? Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Lee, we both know. Let me go. Come on. Come on, you got it. Why? Let's go. Okay, Ben. Get over it. I don't care. I mean, he wanted to die. Should I have killed him just to let him, you know? Hmm, I don't know. I was like on the verge of tears. I just, I just felt. Krista? Everything okay? Omid! Omid? Is he dead? Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! <clears throat> Is he alive? Hey. <laughs> Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. I'm so relieved. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Thank you for your help. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. Save your platitudes for someone who's buying it, huh? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you, the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. Walk I away, promise. Vernon. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. What you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care. 
We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Where are you going? You should come with us, because you can fight, please. <laughs> what are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. Valid. Water sucks. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Hmm. Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? There may not be time. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Clementine? Clementine? I know I'm quiet, I just want to let the scenes play out. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. You know, I really did consider her my daughter, so I didn't feel like I lied. Although I do agree with Vernon, I still think a boat is a horrible idea and that they're all gonna die out there. Um, but I guess, I guess what else do you do? I just, they need a map to know, like, where to go next. That's the walkie-talkie.
pick up walkie-talkie. out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine. <laughs> oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her i don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I need help to find her. We may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thank Hell you. yeah. What are we waiting for? I'm glad Omid's okay. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Clementine is... Uh, Kenny, I need you. Man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. Lee, I know you had my back when we first teamed up. You really looked out for me and mine. But ever since then... You've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. It's up to you. Can't make that decision for you, Ben. Yeah. You have to decide I don't need you, yourself. you know, backing out later. You've been good to me, Lee. Even when it's not been easy. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. This is Vernon's place. Where the hell are they? I'm glad I didn't send Clem. Oh well, like she's they got gone. Out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh, it's quiet.
in, you son of a bitch! Cody. Oh, it's the creeper. Where have you taken her? Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Excuse me. Time's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? I knew, I knew it was coming as, like, the episode started to go, um, further. My heart started to beat because I knew he was going to get bit, so it's just a little emotional. It does not get easier the second time around. <laughs> Who came with you? I know Kenny and I have had our ups and downs, but I, I feel, I feel pretty upset that he didn't want to come with. But it is is valid, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and for finishing episode four with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.